Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is the Mime Chef. I'm sporting my new shaven look because I've got a new job as a cupcake con consultant. It's quite a mouthful that isn't it? Cupcake consultant. And so I've had to smart my appearance up. No more messing about uh, renovating houses for me for a while. So uh, today I wanted to talk to you about firewood and how I'm slowly learning that I need to have three different sizes of firewood. So let's look at the first fire, which is this one, and it's a converted old coal fire. They used to burn coal here when this house was built, so it had a, uh, a grate that fit on those little tabs there. So it's quite a small but hot fire and they would have uh, banked it up with coal. So it's very shallow and very small. And uh, I've just taken that uh, coal grate out and put a, a you know standard standard wood grate in. So for this for this fire I need to basically have things that are probably smaller than 14 inches long and I use a mixture of a uh, small diameter hardwood and some small diameter split pine that I've got here. Now obviously I don't want to have your pine too resinous so you don't want any fat wood, any lye wood, some people call it lye wood or you know pitchy, pitchy type pine. This is the centre of the pine logs that I split and uh, it's been dried for over 12 months before I'm burning it in this fire so I don't uh, creosote my chimney up too much. Um, and then in the other part of the house I have the Vogelzanger boxwood stove and that will take anything up to 18 inches long. I can burn pretty much about anything on that once I get it hot and I give it enough air. And then the boiler uh, which I built, the wood-fired boiler that does the central heating, uh, the radiant heat for the house, uh, that does anything up to 27 inches long and uh, likewise I can burn anything on that so basically I need um, three good sizes of wood I need small stuff for this and some bigger stuff for the boiler and the uh, stuff in between will go on the the box stove so um, and I really do need to make three different piles because I, I end up going out to the wood pile and kind of sorting through what I need and it gets kind of messy because you're throwing bits to one side and it gets all jumbled up and, and messy so um, that's something I've learnt this year uh, and last year but I just never really got around to sorting it out I, I did improve it this year, I've got more of a mixture but it's um, all mixed up so next year I'll be sorting piles for different fires and stoves and maybe moving those piles nearer to the relevant fire source so yeah well, it's kind of complicated but we'll get there eventually so uh, apart from that uh, the garden's growing well I'm going to do an update for you on that we've had uh, a bit of rain recently so it's really growing very fast at the moment I was having to do a lot of watering by hand so that's uh, nice that we've had some rain um, and yeah, uh, luckily, uh, getting back to the job thing, I uh, got myself a job uh, because my wife um, lost her job, it's a long story. So uh, I'm the one that's uh, out breadwinning at the moment, so I'm afraid that's why it's been a little bit quiet on getting the videos out to you. So, But uh, hopefully I'll make, be making some more videos and once I get my feet under the table at my new job, hopefully I'll be able to start making some videos uh, all about cupcakes, which some of you are probably not interested in, some of you might be, who knows, but uh, watch your space. Okay guys, I hope you're all well, take care for now, have a good Christmas. I'm Chef signing out, bye bye.